What's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox, back with another Straight Out of the Box. This is the video series in which I play subtle rap music and unbox, unbox airsoft guns, and hopefully they work as well as they say they do as advertised. Today we're looking at the SEMA Full Metal AK-47S AEG with a folding stock and real wood. Now the SEMA AK series is known for its durability and reliability and hopefully that holds true with today's gun. Alright, let's get straight into it. The box is your average brown box special with just a picture of the gun and some other brief information on the front. The rest of the box is completely unmarked. Inside we've got what appears to be a manual. Let's open this up real quick and see if it actually is. Yes, we do. This is indeed a manual. It is both what appears to be in Chinese. I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh, but it's also in English, so if you can read English, you could definitely read this manual. Basically covers all the all the good points. Not very well laid out, but at least you've got information there in case you've never operated an airsoft gun ever. Let's see, packaged inside the box, we've got a high capacity magazine, a small bag of BBs, this is the uh, front sight post adjuster. We've got the gun itself. Let's see anything else in here? Whoa. A de-jamming rod. Oh nice, there's foam on both ends of the box, on the bottom and on the top. Nice. I like when companies do that. Instead of just putting foam on the top or what they think is the top. Because, you know, it can get squished from the bottom too. Piece of plastic here dividing the wood furniture from the folding stock so it doesn't get scratched. In transport, let's start with a magazine. Uh, there's some BBs in here. Uh, I did test fire this at, at evic.com before I bought it, uh, just to make sure it shot. But other than that, it was just a brief like, take it out, fire around, okay, the BB came out. So this is basically my first impression of it coming out of the box. But there's some BBs in the magazine. What's nice about starting off with an AK as your first airsoft gun is the high capacity magazine is 600 rounds. So that's quite a bit especially if you're just playing like a backyard game or a pickup game somewhere. I don't think you're going to go through 600 rounds in the span of about 15 minutes unless you're Rambo. Getting an AK as your first gun kind of takes away some of the other stuff that you might need when you get an M4. So with an M4 you only get 300 rounds out of a high capacity magazine uh, that usually lasts about one game. But with an AK you just, you know you're set for probably two to three games depending on how you shoot with just one single magazine and you don't need to carry basically anything else, just eye, pro eye protection and your gun and you're good. Let's take a look at the gun itself. The feel of the gun is really sturdy. Uh, the wood has a really nice finish to it. The steel folding stock, yeah, that is hefty. And it's nice that it's steel because there are other versions of this that are plastic and the plastic like this creaks and I always feel like it's gonna snap in half and then I'll just be stuck with this stockless AK. It's like not having clothes on. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, the battery compartment. Battery compartment is gonna be up here in the upper receiver and there is a decent amount of space. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest problems with AKs is finding batteries that fit in this upper receiver. Uh, my suggestion right now if you're looking for a battery is a 7.4 lithium ion Titan that, that will fit nicely in this AK. That's probably the battery that I'm going to use. Today for testing though, we're going to use an 11.1. I want to get, I, I basically want to use the highest voltage when testing these just so that way we can see what happens when you max it out. Moving along, we have our selector switch right here. Uh, this AK platform is going to be just like any other AK platform. It's probably one of the more basic ones with the wood furniture, so there's not really that many things to cover. The selector switch, safe, full auto, and then semi. Moving the charging handle back reveals our hop-up slider. This is a slider style hop-up that comes standard in all AKs. Now one of the problems that I don't like about slider hop-ups is if this little tiny screw here is loose or, it's, or loses any kind of pressure between it and the slider itself, then your hop-up tends to wiggle around as you fire, so you're constantly adjusting the hop-up. Now the quick fix for that is to unscrew that little screw there and add a small O-ring, and then the O-ring provides enough friction to hold the slider in place while you're firing. 
The outer barrel is full metal, and on the front, we have our federally mandated orange tip. All right, on the other side, we have a single sling attachment point. The button to fold the stock under is also located here. It's this button right here. You just push it in, take the butt pad of the stock, kind of move it forward, and then lower it down. And now this is ready to be used in a tighter configuration or more easily transported. It's actually the main purpose of the folding of a lot of folding stocks in smaller guns or full size assault rifles is so that way if you transport it more easily. We've got our lever style magazine release and trigger. And that's pretty much it. It's just kind of your basic AK. The real question is how reliable is this going to be and how well is it going to shoot? Let's hook up our 11.1 and we're going to dry fire this. I'm going to point this into a safe direction. Uh, let me get some iPro on. It's been a minute since I did a straight out of box. Sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm messing this up for everybody. My bad. Okay, we got an iPro. AG pointed in a safe direction. Take the gun off safe. Let's fire. Should be semi. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, full auto. A lot is good. There's a lot of power. I can feel a lot of power in this mech box. It's shaking a lot, which is also a good sign. All right, so the test fire that well. The gun sounds really solid. It doesn't sound whiny. It doesn't sound like it's going to die. So let's head outside, grab the chrono, and set up some targets and give this thing a test fire. We've got our SEMA AK loaded up with Elite Force 0.25 gram BBs. First shot through the chrono. Didn't read. 393 at 1.8 joules, 392, 389, 391, 391.5, 389.5, 388.5, 37.4, 390. All right, some really good consistency out of the AK-47. All right, test fire time with the SEMA. Once again, these are Elite Force 0.25 gram BBs shooting at our evic.com can targets. Now I'm not aiming and this is completely unadjusted hop up. Oops, wind the high cap. Now this is not the gun, this is just me missing. Bam, got it. Shoot it for some distance. Now unlike the previous AK that I got, the hop up appears to be doing its job. All right, let's try full auto now. Should be good. High cap skips a little bit. Let's give it a nice big wind, see if it still skips. Yeah, I skipped a little bit, but most of the BBs are coming out. Final thoughts on the SEMA AK-47S. SEMA, once again, proves its reliability and commitment to making really good airsoft AKs. The steel folding stock and steel barrel are a very nice touch, especially the steel stock. This is one of the weaker points in the gun, and so having it made out of a material that's very sturdy helps a lot with the overall feel of this thing. The wood is a very nice finish as far as airsoft AKs go. This will weather really nicely and it just looks good. Good piece of furniture. Battery compartment space, while I wish it was bigger, this is the one spot that it's gonna have to fit for this particular style of gun unless, you know, the battery is integrated into this wood furniture like in the G&Gs, but there's pros and cons to that as well. The gun did not sound squeaky or high pitched at all. It was just a very solid sounding gun. It appeared that there was hop up on the gun. If you watched my AKLCT video, you'll know why I'm so adamant about the hop up, but you can go back and watch that. I don't want to get into it in this video. I would definitely recommend SEMA AKs. SEMA has been making AKs for a while and they just perform well. I've seen plenty of people with really old SEMA AKs from like 2015 that are still working today in 2018 or 
20,000 something, whatever you're watching this video. Definitely a recommend from me, which I'm sure some of you might have already known because it's SEMA. I cannot wait to hit the field with this AK at Milson West Latin Escalation. So gameplay with this gun coming very soon. If you're watching this in the future, uh, you can probably click the info card in the top right hand corner and that'll bring you to that gameplay. That's gonna wrap up this straight out of the box. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. The first setup I tried was in 2015 at American Milsim Operation Copperhead. For a nighttime direct action mission, I used the TNVC GoPro adapter on my PVS-14. Essentially this rig is a circular clamp with a hinge that attaches to a GoPro. The GoPro records through a prism allowing